hi all today we will discuss about rest api fundamentals so this is a beginner's guide where we can use the rest api fundamentals what all are the fundamentals we are using while we are developing any applications based on spring boot microservices in that mostly we are communicating internal microservice or external microservice or third party api in that cases we are using rest template or rest fundamentals so these all are the rest api fundamentals we have first is what is api so api is a application programming interface which we are using so api is a collection of communication protocol and sub routines used by the various programmer to communicate between them that is called api so here we have a this structures of api like uh, api acts as an interface between different applications so if you want to communicate with uh, multiple applications or multiple third party applications or internal microservices in that cases we have a api application programming interface which we can use which we can use or communicate each other so that we can provide or interchange our information to each other so this is rest api so rest api is nothing but is a representation state representational state transfer so what is rest api it is an architecture style to develop a web applications so it is it used hypertext transfer protocol as a communication interface and it transfer the data through http methods so we have it is a architectural style development web application it is a hypertext transfer protocol as communications interface and it transfer the data through the http status code so http method in status code so this is the diagram api examples the user interact with applications triggering an http request either get post to the api the api receive the request and verify by verify the client and connect with the database user send send the informations and as by using applications by using get post api api retrieve the request and then verify the client and connect with the particular database now api execute the query based on the request and retrieve some update data the retrieve and modify the data is a formal to json or xml will be there so api send this send the formatted data back to the client and client applications pass this json to xml data and display to the users within in the application so like that we have a three layer of architectures will be there like client uh, rest api and database will be there so this rest api will communicate with backend and client we have a ui and database which will be communicate with any database so inside that what is a rest api request so what is a request so for that url uniform resource locators will be there it is the address to identify resource and specify no access it so an api the url can named as based on url which means that is the base address used in every request so like examples we have uh, some http uh, any uh, uh, sub domain dot coms will be there so uh, this is the url parameters so uri is a uniform resource identifier so this is the examples where sys cfish.workcal.apps uh, is the url http this url is there slash we have a email and then communicate community is slack is there so url highlighted in white so this is the url and this is a body params so body params is the request which contain all the data to the server which need to be successfully process the request so this is the request here we have a emails community uh, and it joined true or false so these things is the body params this is the url 
so emails then community as a slack here this is a url this is the body param this is the parameters so request parameters information that can be sent to the request by this client in order to this to get the response from the server so we have examples like email then community equal to slash helpful resource beginners then this one so if you'll go here this is query parameters so this query parameters there's a two type of parameters is there one is a query parameter another is path parameters so is the query parameters is this one and par path parameters so query parameters will be a start here as a question mark community equal to slack and path parameters will be like this way so a variables in the URA path param that help in this pointing toward the specific resource in then we have a path parameters and then we have a headers so which we have provide the body request which contain all the data and the servers need to be successful process it's called header and then we have a rest method so this rest method we have a get post put delete and patch so get is retrieve the data post will create a api put will update this api patch will modify this api request and delete will have a delete this request api request so these all are the http methods are there and then we have a http status code which have one x one double x two double x three double x four double x and five double x so one double x is used for the informations two double x is used for the success three double x is used for the redirection four double x is used for the client error and five double x is used for the server error so mostly these all are the http status we are using and why api rest api we use advantage of rest api is there so rest api follows a straightforward architecture style based on this our familiar web concept like http method so we have get post put deletes and all and the resource representation like uh, HTML, JSON, and this make a uh, entitative to learn and use to develop in all the skills. So that's why we are using REST API. So we have a multiple advantages there in this REST API. Maintainability and reliability will be there. Uh, RESTful users, we have a multiple uh, things we need to configure configure before and then this is the architectures so in this architectures our uh, api architectures is there so web socket is there soap is there event driven is there grpc is there graphql is there so these all are the api architectures others have label api architectures style so if you are not using rest api instead of that we can use graphql gprs grpc is there event driven swaps and web socket is there so open web socket so like this we have a multiple informations based on this rest api so this url this is a url so this is the request and this is body param this is parameters this is query parameters this is path parameters headers and then method HTTP status quo. Yeah, thank you.